Welcome to Shoot It Right. I am Shraddha Karakya, a commercial photographer and founder of Just Like Image Making Company. In past episodes, we have learned how to capture subjects which is closer to us. Today, you will be amazed to see how to capture subjects which are far away from us, that is, stars and astronomical bodies. Photographing star trails can be challenging but also rewarding. If you have not tried this, these few techniques will help you how to get started. Let's learn how. To create striking photographs of stars, there are few requirements for place and time. Make sure you are far away from the city because any ambient light will make the stars less visible. We are here at Vasin, which is 60 kilometers away from Mumbai to make sure there is no light pollution. Thanks to today's technology and innovation, there are free softwares easily available to track the cluster of stars in the sky. One such software called Stellarium is easily available on internet, which helps you track real-time location of stars, galaxies, planets and satellites around Earth. Make sure you download it before you start your stargazing session. It has the option to input your exact location from the inbuilt list and you can get an idea about the positions of stars and galaxy visible at the location. Plus, it also has an option to add new locations to its database based on the coordinates entered by you. More interesting, it can also show you the star positions in future. You just have to feed the date and time for which you want to know the positions. Hit the play button at the bottom console, then hit fast forward. This will simulate the movement of stars at any location and at any time. Isn't that a helping hand? Plan your star photography on a moonless night or a quarter moon night. Similar to city lights, stars are not visible when the moonlight lights up the sky. So, make sure that there is not much of moonlight available and it should even be a clear sky. The best way to capture star trails on DSLR is to take multiple shots and mix them on post-production. While taking a very long exposure on your camera, the sensor will generate heat, creating hotspots on the image. I usually use a 30 second exposure and capture minimum 60 images. The most important thing is that you gotta use a tripod to keep your camera steady while taking long exposures. Many cameras, especially DSLR, has an option of long exposure noise reduction. Make sure you switch it off because it would take minimum 30 seconds for your camera to get ready after the exposure. This would affect the continuation of the trail. A cable release or an intervalometer is recommended. If you don't have them, keep your camera on 2 second self timer. This will avoid any camera shake. I will be using a remote cable release for this experiment. Keep the camera on continuous shooting mode. The cable release has the function to lock the shutter button on it. This enables the camera to keep clicking images on the settings you have chosen. As long as the camera is on continuous shooting mode and the remote shutter release button is locked down. When it's dark and you are ready to go, that is couple of hours after sunset, Make sure you do a lot of test shots so you are sure about getting the right exposure. For a photograph to have a sense of space, make sure you have something in the foreground like a mountain or any other stationary subject which does not move. We will be using a wider aperture which will allow more amount of light entering the camera. Narrow aperture will make the star trails dimmer. Since we will be using shutter speed at 30 seconds and aperture at f4, the camera exposure would be determined by its ISO. Try taking a test shot by keeping your camera ISO on 1600. If the star trails are not visible, try boosting up your ISO to 3200 if your camera permits. Make sure your battery is fully charged. Carry an extra battery to avoid the embarrassment of running out of power. Once you are ready to go and your gear is completely set, all you got to do is frame your composition. Remember, once your camera is focused, turn off your autofocus button so your camera does not attempt to refocus at night. 
Also make sure that your image stabilization button is off whenever your camera is mounted on the tripod. To combine your images, use a software called Star Stacks which is easily available and does a great job. Just point Star Stacks to the folder that contains all the exposure. Select Lighten as the blend mode and let it go work. You might have to invest a bit of time in planning, making the exposures and processing the images. But the final result will be well worth the investment. All you really need is a bit of patience. This can be the most exciting part of the whole experience since you finally get to see what you have created. Let's hear today's click tip. As we mentioned earlier, image stabilization should be kept off when mounted on the tripod. The reason for this is simple. Image stabilization detects any shake or movement. When mounted on tripod, the IS might mistake the movement of objects in front of the lens as movement of camera and try to correct it by displacing the IS mechanism. This will result in blurry images. Here we come to a conclusion for this wonderful episode of Star Trail Photography. Do share your efforts and experiments with us. We would love to improve your photography and help you. Do subscribe us for more exciting photography videos. So after a long tiring day of my Star Trail Photography, I am going to take a nap. Happy clicking!